SpaceX has revolutionized the space industry since the day it introduced its mission to make space more accessible. Determined to transform their goal into reality, the private agency has built so many rockets, and even launch sequence takes them a step forward towards realizing the big dream. And today's story is about one of the most recent launches of SpaceX's biggest rocket. Three, two, one. Ignition. Here we are going to discuss the launch of SpaceX's Falcon Heavy, which lifted off on November 1st. There is so much to talk about. As you might already know, Falcon Heavy isn't an ordinary spacecraft. So buckle up as we dwell into the details of the rocket's launch. Falcon Heavy is not just the greatest invention of SpaceX. Rather, it is currently the largest functional space rocket by a factor of two in the world. Put simply, that machine is a beast. Before I get to the details of the most recent launch, let's talk about how capable this machine really is. Using three Falcon 9's Core 9 engine thrusters, Falcon Heavy uses 27 Merlin engines which combine produce 5 million pounds of thrust while liftoff, which is almost equal to what 18 Boeing 747 aircraft would combine produce. I mean that's something. Just this capability is more than enough for making this rocket the best in the industry. While we are discussing its capabilities for your reference, a Falcon Heavy rocket can carry a fully loaded 737 airliner, including all the passengers, luggage and fuel to space. When for the first time in 2018 this took off, everyone was startled to see the invention of SpaceX. NASA and other companies that have been in the industry for so long were just able to build a Delta IV rocket, which in every sense is a very much capable rocket itself. But when compared to the Falcon Heavy, it doesn't have what it takes. It's not just the liftoff capabilities, but this flagship rocket of SpaceX is partially reusable, making it a more sustainable medium to take a deep space tour. Although SpaceX has announced that they will be using this rocket for human space travel, it doesn't seem like it. Still, it's a marvel of engineering. I mean, just look at it. It's a wonderful machine. Now let's get to the point for which we are here to discuss, Falcon Heavy's recent launch. On the very first flight that this rocket took, it was carrying a Tesla Roadster with a dummy human payload. Then it took two more flights in 2019. Each time the rocket was able to lift off successfully without any sort of inconvenience or major delays. The best part was that every time its three boosters landed back safely on Earth, it was a sight worth seeing. If you are someone who appreciates spatial travel, then you couldn't have refrained from appreciating the launch sequence. The three previous launches were crucial for Falcon Heavy, as it was after those three launches that this rocket was certified for the National Security Space Launch Program. That was a huge milestone both for SpaceX and their beast. Unfortunately, since 2019 the rocket was idling because the payload it was supposed to carry wasn't ready. Finally, this year we got to see the launch once again. The technical capabilities of this rocket are known to everyone, but this rocket has a particular character. When the launch was about to take place, a precautionary announcement was made by the representatives of SpaceX, who said that Falcon Heavy will create a double sonic boom and when it lifted off, its roar was more than enough to shake the windows of the control tower. The liftoff sequence took place at the Kennedy Space Center on a foggy day, where the rocket carried a USS F-44 mission spacecraft to orbit. What the spacecraft was carrying inside remains classified, as the press release just mentioned that the United States Space Force will be putting satellites into orbit. What purpose are these satellites going to serve was not confirmed. The information only mentioned Falcon Heavy carrying payloads consisting of several satellites, which will be serving both research and defense purposes. Well, that's not our concern, what Falcon Heavy was carrying. The thing that interests us is the launch, which went great as usual, no problem. Then after propelling the rocket into space, we saw the two boosters land side by side on their landing pads. The third booster did make its return to Earth, but it couldn't land as it had already consumed its propellant in sending the USS F-44 mission 
22,000 miles away from our planet. So SpaceX didn't even try to make the core booster land. Instead, it got dropped into the sea from where it was recovered later on. Those who witnessed this moment were once again starstruck, as you don't get to see such an event every day, especially when you consider that SpaceX had been using its smaller rockets for other missions. As Falcon Heavy is just so huge, until the mission requires such a capable rocket, it's pointless to send it to orbit. Everyone knows that Falcon Heavy is a promising carrier, but when it comes to spatial adventures, no one knows when things could go wrong. So this recent successful launch is another milestone that SpaceX's Marvel has achieved and proved to the world. It's not like it is the only rocket of SpaceX because they are working on many projects simultaneously. And one of the most ambitious projects SpaceX is working on is its Starship. When will we be able to witness its successful commercial launches is yet not decided. But trust me, that machine will transform both the perception and the reality of space travel. Starship is one of the reasons that SpaceX abandoned its plan of using Falcon Heavy for human endeavors to space. Otherwise, Falcon Heavy was not short of anything to take a crewed flight to space. This launch of Falcon Heavy marks the 50th launch of SpaceX in the year 2022. And if you consider the pace at which SpaceX is lifting its rocket off into orbit, it is basically conducting a launch after every 6.1 days. I mean, no one could have ever imagined it until SpaceX showed it to the world. So it wasn't an exaggeration when I said that SpaceX is revolutionizing space travel. If they keep going like that, the dream of taking recreational space adventure does not seem a very far-fetched idea. So it's safe to say that the future of space exploration is in safe hands. On that note, I'll end this video here. I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.